Hey guys, welcome to the Runtime Era, the place where programming begins. So we are starting the HR questions now. In this video, we will be discussing introduce yourself question. Like first of all, we will be discussing why this question is asked. Then we will look at what is the wrong way people mainly give while answering this question. And third, we will look at what is the actual way to give the answer to the question called as introduce yourself. At the same time, we will be also giving you the sample wrong answers as well as the sample right answers as well. So without any wasting time, let's get going. Before we start the video, I highly recommend you to subscribe our channel if you are new to our channel. We will be sharing lots of HR questions and interview related stuff. So let's get started. So introduce yourself. The first thing comes on our mind is why does this question is asked? The reason why this question is asked so that interviewer can come to know a bit idea about you like how good you are, how confident you are, how curious you are to learn the new things as well and at the same time he wanted to know what you have done in the past. But the question is why every interview starts with introduce yourself. The reason why every interview start with the question called as introduce yourself so that interviewer wants you to be cool and calm. Basically what happens when we start any interview or when you go to any interview, we are a bit feel nervous and a bit pressurized. So interviewer wants us so that we can cool and calm before starting with the actual interview. So from this scenario, we come to know that why this question is asked. Now let's look at how to answer this question. The first, we will be starting with what is the wrong way people mainly answer this question. So mistake number one people do is they tell everything about themselves like schooling, their family, their brother, their X percentage in 10, Y percentage in 12. So these are all unnecessary and time consuming things. Interviewer will not be happy with it. Because the point is interviewer is not interested in your family or in your father and mother. What he want is, are you capable for this position or not? So that's why these are totally unnecessary things. The second mistake we do is, what we do is, we tell the results directly to them. For example, I'm really good at problem solving. I have good leadership quality. I have completed this project, etc. The point is, why does the interviewer should believe in you that you are really good in those things? Is there any kind of evidence do you have so that interviewer can come to know that okay you are really good at it. Do you have any evidence of it? No. From this answer we don't get any kind of evidence so that interviewer can easily believe okay you really pursue those qualities and you are really good at it. So I hope so what mistakes people mainly do. First they tell everything about themselves like education, schooling, family, father, mother, brother. Second, they tell their 10th and 12th percentage. Third, they tell the results directly. Now, let's look at what is the wrong answer mainly people give. Hi, I am Pramod Bosley. I am currently studying in XYZ University with computer science team. Apart from me, there are three family members. My father, my mother and my brother. My father is a farmer and my mother is a housewife. I have 90% in 10th and 80% in 12th. My hobbies are playing cricket and listening songs. I have completed this project using XYZ technology. See, see how boring and unwanted thing this answer looks like. We have mentioned about my father, I have mentioned about my, uh, my mother, my brother, and what I have, what are my hobbies, listening songs, playing cricket, does these things going to impact on your interview absolutely no don't you think that about 90 to 95 percent of the people go with the same answer so if you're eating the same food again and again every day it makes you feel bored similarly if any interviewer listening to the same answer again and again don't they feel bored right so we need to describe this answer in some different manner now let's look at what is the actual way we should answer this question but before we start the actual way, we will try to correct what mistakes we did. So first thing we have noticed that avoid telling everything about your family because the interviewer is not at all interested in your family. Be straight on yourself like 
what you have done what you have currently doing and what you have done in engineering don't take the interviewer too past to the 10th and 12th and everything these are all unnecessary things second important thing is don't tell the results directly as i mentioned don't tell directly about your leadership qualities problem solving abilities give them the evidence say for for example if i say i'm really good at leadership qualities does that make any sense no at all because there is no any evidence for it but what if i say during my engineering i was a member of one particular cell where i organized many events from this i came to know that how to handle the people and how to organize the event through this scenarios i can simply say that i am really good at leadership and taking my responsibility see how well i described i told them what actions i took before i telling them i am really having a good at leadership qualities so this is the perfect way to describe your results don't tell your results directly to the interviewer because there will be no any kind of evidence now let's look at what is the perfect way to answer this question hi i am pramod bosley i am hard working engineering graduate specialized in computer science with 8.1 cgpa apart from this i have attended many leadership seminars which helped me to be a better team player also i am really passionate about technical accept like c cpp which helped me to develop my projects i love reading books and i am currently reading the book steve jobs written by walter isaacson look at how precise this answer looks like there is no any unwanted thing do i mention anything about my family do i mention anything about my 10th and 12th absolutely no because there is no reason or there is no need to tell these things my answers looks like exactly to the point same time whatever i did before i telling those things i told them what actions i took to do those things for example i am really good team player what actions i took i have attended many leadership seminars what i told i built this project what actions i took i am really passionate about taking like accept like c and c++ in this way before describing any results make sure you are telling them the actions you took so i hope you understood the perfect way to describe the question introduce yourself now i'm 100% sure that when anyone ask you question introduce yourself you will be able to answer this question the precise and the perfect way i hope you enjoyed this video and i like this video in order to know more about hr questions i highly recommend you to subscribe our channel so that you can come to know everything about hr questions as well as interview related stuff till then have a happy coding